Yo, this is Itono Place, Pokemon Soul Silver. We have gotten ourselves a Charmander and a Trico, as well as meeting with Steven Stone, who told us about the mysteries of Pokemon, even attempting a trade, which we couldn't do because we don't have a fortress. And then we met with Mr. Pokemon, who said that there is something mysterious about the embedded tower. He gave us the red orb to go explore it. And here's the thing. We are here. Let's see what the embedded tower has to store for us. Before we go, though, we will do a change to our setup. Make sure we can fight whatever is inside of it. If there even is anything inside of it, that is the case. But there might be. There might not be, but there might be. I think I'll get in a long champ. Maybe it's for alligator, but now oh, this is a good one. Let's go inside and see what we can find. There's the embedded tower. Okay, it seems fine so far. There's something in the horizon. Oh my god! It's a Grudon! Yes, that's why we got in the red orb. It summons Grudon in the embedded tower. If you play Pokemon Heart Gold, you will get the blue orb instead, which will give you access to Kyogre. Ugh. This is actually a bit of a bad thing because yeah, even though Grudon is a super heavyweight, he's gonna get he's gonna be captured easily with a heavy ball. Problem is that he's a ground type. That makes him immune to electric, and that means I cannot really paralyze him without using spore or other things to do with like a dragon breath. That's fine though, we will still be able to fight him. And when you're ready, go forward and attack the cover Pokemon and the mascot of Pokemon Ruby and Omega Ruby when he has his primal form. Luckily, there's no primal form in this game because it's Generation 4. When you're ready though, step forward and meet with the Titan of the land, Grudon. get a remixed version of the legendary theme. There it is. He's level 50 only though, that's a better thing. His Owo was level 70. This one will still be tough, we cannot paralyze him because he is a ground type. That's a bad thing for us. So we cannot use Thunder Punch here, he'll be immune to it. We will stick with the Ice Punch instead, he is a ground type, even though he has a sunny day, he will still do good damage with Ice Punch. Good hit. Earthquake comes. That's gonna be a stat bonus. He is a really powerful Pokemon. He's a bit slow, but he is, he is still very strong. Earthquake will do good damage. Sunlight is strong. He has a draw ability, which means it will be forever a sunny day. Which means Solar Beam has a uh, insta hit effect. It will be that fire damage is going up, water damage goes down, and the accuracy of thunder is reduced to 50%. Now that we got him to red zone, I cannot paralyze him, but okay. We do have a lot of heavy balls from last time. Let's use them. Heavy ball on Grudon. The best way to catch him is with heavy balls. One. Again, it's not, in, not guaranteed. We'll still kick out very easily. Here comes his unique signature move, Eruption. A very powerful fire move. He doesn't really do that much damage to me. So another heavy ball attempt on no. Here's the thing about the um, here's the thing about Rudon's uh, eruption. That is that eruption will do damage based upon the health. So the less health he has the less damage he will do as well. So, if Eruption is used early while well, he has a lot of health, that means Eruption is going to do insane damage. But if Rudolph's damage health is down to like 1, he will do like 1 damage per turn as well. So that's kind of the, the uh, negative thing about Eruption. Eruption also has 150 power, so it does a lot of damage. He's falling in himself asleep, that's actually a good thing for us, he's still with Ice Punch. Hopefully no critical hit, so we can get him down to red zone again. 
that's great. He will sleep for at least two turns. And now that he's sleeping with um, with this on, this actually means we can capture him in the very next heavy ball attempt. Let's try it. Heavy ball on Grudon. A sleeping Grudon, no health. One. No, kicks out. That's unfortunate. He's still sleeping though, he's sleeping for two turns. Another heavy ball attempt. Kick him right away up. That's just unfortunate. Rune wakes up. Rune do the earthquake. This will do heavy damage regardless of health. This will do a lot of damage to me. I will survive though because I have a lot of level advantage against Rudon. I'm gonna capture it. So let's use another heavy ball attempt on Rudon. This one will do it. Closer, but not enough. You know, we got an eruption, which will not do a lot of damage because his health level is really low. It's for 5 damage. Not much dangerous at all. Let's do another heavy ball attempt on the Brewdog. See, this one will do the trick. And he is ours! Oh, Heavy Ball is so good, it's almost too strong! So Grudon's data was added to the Pokedex. Let's see what he gets. Grudon, the Continent Pokemon. Oh my goodness, he's 11 feet tall. He weighs 2,000 pounds! That means he weighs over a ton! That's a lot of weight. No wonder my Heavy Ball hit him so early. Said to have expanded the lands by evaporating water with the raging heat. It battled titanically with Kyogre. Interesting. Ah, the hiker's back. Well, hello. That was something you don't see every day. That Pokemon is Grudon, a legendary Pokemon in the Hoenn myth about the shaping of that region. I see. The Imperial Tower was built by people from Hoenn. The tower that binds together the sea, the land, and the sky. Grudon was not the only Pokemon described in the Hoenn myth. This place might be hiding its secrets. The knowledgeable Pokemon professor may be able to tell you more when you show him Grudon. Phew. There are so many connections between Pokemon and myths. See you around. Now what he just said is a big hint to what you should do next, because you can't go up here, because the stairs are knocked off and you can't go up to top this tower. But it says something about the Pokemon Professor knows more about this. Hmm. That means we probably should go back to the Pokemon Professor itself. That would be of course Professor Oak. That means we have to fly to the Nico Plateau. Trade of Pokemon again, or we're not trade but a switch of Pokemon. There we go. Let's go inside again. Go to the PC. And then we can find up another PC trade. Just a temporary one though. Let's uh, switch out. Um Get out. There we go. So Grudon out. And Caesar put in the Pokedex box. Now look at this though. Look how small Hitmochan is next to me. What happens if you change in Grudon to follow me? Yeah, he's so big you can't even fit him inside his building. Don't worry though. I'll show you soon. He's gonna restore my health. Though we did capture him, we don't have much chance needed in battle. So it wasn't that super easy fight. There we go. Back to full health. Check the size of Rudon. Look at that size! Wow! He is huge! We have some GP music on for Grudon. Okay, so let's show Grudon to the Pokemon Professor. Let's go to Palatown. That's where we'll 
find Professor Rock and see what he has to say about the mighty Grudon that we just captured from the Embedded Tower. Man, look at the size of him. He's bigger than the house. Let's get into the building. Now that's probably a no big deal. Why? Oh, Shutano! What brought you here? The legendary Pokemon that appear in the Hoenn myth? You must be talking about Kyo over in Grudon. The embedded tower is probably with ruins that has something to do with the Hoenn myth. If so, the other one must be around. Kyogre and Grudon are said to have shaped the seas and lands. Where those two are, the other Pokemon is said to appear as well. All this is quite possible. It's not hard to imagine that the blue orb will make Kyogre appear at the embedded tower. However, according to Mr. Pokemon, Kyogre does not show itself to trainers with shining silver spirits, but only to those with golden hearts. It may be difficult for you alone to accomplish this, Sitano, but if you manage to obtain the Kyogre that came from the Embedded Tower, please do come and show me both legendary Pokémon. I will then share with you the rest of the Hoenn myth. Hmm, interesting. So what he just said, just as I confirmed to you earlier, is that Grudon is only available in Pokémon Soul Silver, and Kyogre is only available in Pokémon Heart Gold. If you again manage to get both Pokémon and show them to Professor Rogue, he will then tell you more about the Hoenn Myths. And that is exactly what we want to do. But I don't have a Kyogre though. But don't worry though, I will be fixing myself a Kyogre for the next episode, just so we can have him tell more about the Hoenn Myths. And then we will see what this means, because I said there is another Pokémon connected to the Myths of uh, Hoenn. I think you know which one we're talking about. Yeah, it's kinda long and green and nasty. And people say it's the most broken Pokemon in the world. Actually, one of the reasons why the Uber tier is now a competitive tier rather than just being anything goes tier. Yeah, that just says everything. But for next episode, guys, I will bring myself a Kyogre with me together with a Grudon. And then we'll show it to Oak and see what he has in store and what does this mean. So, that means next time it will indeed be the season finale of my Let's Play of Pokemon Soul Silver. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook. And that's it for now, so I'll see you guys next time as my journey in Pokemon Soul Silver continues once more.